What is that thing? It looks like it wants to be a red dot, but I can't see through it. This is the Armson OG-1, the original red dot. And we're going to show you some cool features of this old thing, which actually is new production and still coming out of South Africa, just like they, the originals did. Coming up next on GB Guns. So the OG-1, I kind of want to say OG in a different meaning, but this is from Armson USA, the US distributor for Armson. These things were developed decades ago and were the original and first red dots. No batteries required, solar powered, they even have options in green or with tritium. And the way this thing works is pretty simple. There's a fiber optic tube here in the front that is exposed to sunlight, brought into the tail end of it inside this blacked out tube. So when you look through it, all you see is a black circle with a red dot. Well, how does it work you ask well funny you say that because what has become a modern cool guy tactic is shooting with both eyes open and that's exactly the way this thing works you bring it up to your face and with both eyes open your eyes assuming that you're right at dominant <laughs> transpose and mix those images sort of like how you can put your hand in front of your face and see through it at certain distances it's the same thing with this and it puts the red dot on your target the dot is very easy to pick up because it's surrounded by blackness, but once you're focused on both things, which happens that quickly, easy to see. Now, these have been around for decades. Things have changed, of course. Why are they still around? Well, there's still application for them. They still work. We have ours on the Brownells Retro 601 because it seems kind of period correct. The Marine Corps experimented with these. I believe they were used in service in the US in small batches also overseas uh, have actually been talked about quite a lot but we get distracted by a lot of the cheap electronics coming out of china that somehow cost more and had forgotten about this south african craftsmanship that is still around we'll show you how this works this one is in a carry handle mount to make it pretty correct and work with this 601 style ar they also have them set up for regular ring mounts and the mp5 claw mount we'll show you some of that mp5 action and then just kind of a quick realistic can you be accurate with it Fifty-four yards away, reduce size ABC zone target. That was pretty fun, pretty effortless. That's the Armson OEG now in green, the original red dot sight. Old school technology. Tia, would you say it still works? It still works. But <laughs> if you've never experienced anything like this before, uh, it's definitely worth experiencing. Let's see some more shots. Okay. If you insist. So to show practical accuracy with this and also reference to one of our other videos practicing those ready ups, Tia's got the 601 with the arms on and at about 20 yards on that torso we have a mini torso which you can see there in white. It's clean now. She's gonna do five iterations of ready up and taking a shot, showing her target acquisition and ability to hit it. How she did. And there we have it. I can't zoom the camera anymore. We'll have to get up a little bit closer. Alright, so here we are now standing just a couple feet from the thing, and you can see all five shots there. Landing within, dare I do this, about the length of my finger. For total size so not bad at all just a couple inches and we haven't 
really adjusted this site much at all. The adjustments you can see here are a tensioner and then a threaded piece. Once you loosen the tension, uh, turn the screw to loosen the tension, you can adjust these up, down, left, right, just like you would on a scope. The difference is you're applying tension versus clicks. So you don't feel a definitive click per se, you're just sort of leaning on that fiber optic tube to move it slightly. And with just a couple twists, that would be centered. And keep in mind, I mean, that target is about the size of an A-zone on a standard torso target. So pretty darn accurate, especially for ready up free-handed and totally wrong rifling. That's a one in 12 <laughs> rifle and barrel. But uh, as you saw with the MP5, this thing works. So when Graham explained to me that we'd be getting these in for review, um, initially I was excited and then when we got them I was a little bit confused. The first time that we had these on the range I struggled with them a little bit. Um, just, <laughs> I've trained on red dots and I, I felt that this was going to be a red dot and it wasn't and it was very confusing. Today I didn't have that problem. I was easily and quickly able to acquire my target and land my shots um, and and so today I find that I'm I'm rather impressed with the they're not technologically advanced and, and I'm, I'm impressed with that and I think in a lot of ways that simplicity adds to reliability you don't have electronics to fail you don't have a battery to die you don't have a solar panel that gets scratched or water on it and then it refracts. It's a very simple design that works. I find that valuable. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it works by tricking your brain. Your brain transposes that image right over your target. I wish we could think of a way to show that on camera, but that's, uh, if possible, that's some high level film producer stuff, not uh, <laughs> journalists with the camera level stuff. <laughs> so sorry folks, we couldn't do that. But yeah, this uh, Armson OG works. It's fun for period correct. Uh, it's also, I think, a fun or smart idea for your absolute shit hit the fan kind of rifle build in that uh, don't have to worry about batteries, don't have to worry about electronics. EMPs, you know, for the end of world prep, <laughs> EMP is not gonna <laughs> affect this thing. And I think <laughs> it's really valuable to understand the that there are many many options out there it doesn't have to be you know the latest name brand with the the hottest influencer selling you something for it to be a valuable tool um, you just have to open your mind enough to be willing to try things that are not conventional yeah this is pretty cool this was this is a fun experience thanks for watching